This was back in 1907. There was a couple Lily and Thomas lived in the town of New York. They lived in an apartment that was too small, but they lived in it with love and compassion. As Christmas approached, their hearts were filled with excitement and the desire to show their love for one another through caring gifts. However, they had one challenge, their tight budget. Lily worked part-time at a local bookstore, while Thomas dedicated his days to a small woodworking shop. They work six days a week and hardly earn $40 for the month, out of which they need to pay the apartment rent and other bills. They cherish their simple life but have little extra money to spare. On Christmas Day, Lily counted her money. She put all her money on the table and was worried that she was left with only two dollars in her hand. She had a question in mind. How could she get a gift for Thomas on Christmas? She was feeling very sad and walked across the house. She was very unhappy with her life, as she could not get the perfect gift for her love. She looked into the mirror and saw her beautiful long hair. Thomas always says, I like to see your hair every morning in the sun. At work, I think about your hair. Meanwhile, Thomas was facing his own challenge. With limited funds, he pondered how to make the day memorable for Lily. He also had a little money with him, and that was not enough to buy special gift for Lily. But he has something special with him. He has one gold watch, which he always keeps with him. The watch was a gift from his father, and Thomas always kept it with him. Sometimes Lily says, Excuse me, Mr. Thomas. What time is it? Then Thomas smiles and takes out his gold watch from his coat. He opens the watch and looks at it with love. Then he tells Lily the time. On the other side, Lily is now thinking about her beautiful hair. She ventured into the bustling town square, searching for the perfect gift for Thomas. She went to a saloon, and there she met Mrs. Goblin. That old lady buys hair. Lily asked Mrs. Goblin, Will you buy my hair? Mrs. Goblin had never seen such beautiful hair before. She smiled and said, I can give you $15 for it. Lily said, Okay, can you please take it quickly and provide me the money? Mrs. Goblin started to cut her hair, and Lily didn't look at her hair falling on the floor. Now that Lily had her $15 in hand, she went to buy a special gift for Thomas. She bought a beautiful gold chain for Thomas's watch for $15. After getting a gift for Thomas, Lily was so happy and excited too. She went home and waited for Thomas to come home. Meanwhile, she decorated the house and cooked special food for Thomas. Now it's 7 p.m., and Lily has put everything on the table. The doorbell rang, Lily opened the door, and it was Thomas outside. Thomas does not notice Lily's hair, as she was wearing a hat on her head. Thomas asked, Why are you wearing a hat? I like to see your beautiful hair moving in the air. Lily replied, saying, I will remove it, but first I want to show you a special gift I bought for you. Thomas was smiling and smiling. Lily asked her, Why are you smiling, Thomas? Thomas replied and said, I have a special gift for you as well. Lily asked Thomas, 
Excuse me, Mr. Thomas. What time is it? This time Thomas does not take out the watch but says, I will show you, but first I want to see the special gift you bought for me. Now it was Lily's turn to show the gift, and she gave it to Thomas to open. Thomas opened the gift and saw that it was a gold chain for his watch. Lily asked Thomas, Take out your watch, and I will tie the chain with your gold watch. Thomas was feeling sad because he did not have the watch with him. He said with his smiley face, Lily, it was too old, and I will buy a new one, so I sold the watch to buy a special gift for you. Lily, with tears in her eyes, hugged Thomas tightly. Now it's Thomas's turn to give the gift. Lily opened the gift and found that it had two costly combs for her beautiful hair. Thomas said, Your hairs are so precious to me, and I am always thinking of the same. So, I bought it for you. Thomas asked her to remove the hat and tell her to try the comb on her hair. Lily removed the hat, and after seeing her hair, Thomas was feeling very sad. He asked Lily, What happened? Why did you cut your hair? Lily, with a smile on her face, said, I gave it to Mrs. Goblin. She took my hair in exchange for money. I need the money to buy a special gift for you. I will get my beautiful hairs again in some time. But I am feeling sad for your gold watch, as it was so close to your heart. Thomas, with tears in his eyes, hugged Lily tightly. At that moment, Lily and Thomas realized that the true essence of Christmas lay not in expensive presents but in the love they shared. Their modest gestures spoke volumes, reminding them of the strength of their bond and the beauty that could be found in the simplest of things. As the day unfolded, the couple embraced the joy of togetherness. They spent the day eating a humble feast, singing carols by the fireplace, and relishing in the happiness that surrounded them. In the years that followed, Lily and Thomas continued to face financial challenges, but their love remained unwavering. They learned that the most meaningful gifts were not measured in money but in the thought, time, and care poured into them. And as they gathered around the Christmas tree each year, admiring the love that filled their home, they were reminded that the true magic of the love and emotions lay in the priceless treasures that money could never buy.